Alright, hello fellow Adanas, and welcome back to another match of the LPS Cup's 16th Finals. I am Chiska, my co-commentator is Elite Cryptic. Hello and welcome back everybody. Today we have Trafalda versus Adri Gabro who will be playing as Meta. And the first match is very interesting, a mirror match between two Gondors. On the forelands of the Emin Muil. They are also the only two players in the 16th finals who will be battling on this specific map. Interesting, very interesting. So we've got a mirror match, right, are we ready? and we're the only p people on this map. <laughs> <laughs> this promises to be a With memorable English one. commentary. I do not honestly know very much about either of these two. Um, I've never, I, I think I've seen like one of Adriga Bro's replays. I've never played with either of them, so it's a bit of a wild card. Yes, I don't know Trafalda that well, but I have seen Adri Gabro play in replays before. But we'll just have to see how it goes. I think I'll observe Adri Gabro in this game. Yeah, and I will be observing Trafalda. Primarily. Of course, we're going to cross over once in a while. Yes. <laughs> Alright, I'm excited to see how this ends. Oh, this is going to get so confusing. <laughs> Alright, well, I He's started on... Gondor everywhere. Yeah, I started on Trafolder, so... <laughs> it's going to be the same powers and everything. Oh. oh. <laughs> Alright, looks like Trafolder going for the quick farms here. I wonder if we'll see a signal and fire from Gondor either. Game. I wonder if we will see a signal fire from either of these players. Rodrigo Bro with a quick barracks. Trafalder has yet to build his um, his farm. He went for a quick blacksmith. He's got this his gondors. A bit, a bit expensive for a 1k rush to start right off the bat with a 400 resource uh, structure in your building. Yeah, it looks like he's going pretty base. much full on resources. He, ha he has yet to get his scout hero, Pippin. It would help him quite a bit with creeping the goblins. Go the goblins? I, I don't know what <laughs> I just said. <laughs> nice goblins. pronunciation there. See, it was a mix. I sometimes call them gobbos, and I sometimes call them goblins, and it just kind of merged together terribly. That's strange indeed. <laughs> Tell me about it. That's like in my, um, I think it was my first, uh, first, um, Divide and Conquer video, I had quite a flub. It was pretty funny. Alright, well, we've got Trafolder moving south towards the troll cage, and now he's just standing there. <laughs> Not really it's sure what he's doing. Soldiers. Yeah. Druga Bro has been oh. consistently creeping. He does have his pikemen out. One battalion that looks like two. It looks like um, Trafford are also making pi uh, pikes. It seems people really prefer to go for a quick pike creep on trolls rather than just oh. use a scout hero. Rather strange. Which in my opinion, I think the scout hero is actually a better choice. Well, I mean, it saves you money. The scout hero is more useful in general, and on top of it, you don't lose anything from doing the scout hero method, because especially with Gondor soldiers, because you just throw them in their formation, and they take so much less damage. Exactly. So. We will see. We shall see indeed. <clears throat> Tervorder almost forgetting his farm. <laughs> <laughs> This promises to be um, somewhat slower of a match, just so everybody knows. Gondor's a bit of a defensive faction. Yeah, a, a lot more defensive than, say, Rohan. They can be played offensively, as we saw in the most in the recent match with Draco and Django. That was a good battle. Yes, it was. Excellent play. Excellent play on both sides. But let's not uh, hang on to the past and rather focus on the here and now between Andrew Gabro and Trafalda, the mirror match of Gondor. Well, it's just hard to do that because nothing's really happening right now. <laughs> Gotta keep the commentary exciting. Well, we did have a bit of harassment there from Trafalda, taking one of Andrew Gabro's farms. Now we're gonna have a Gondor soldier battle. Oh, Andrew Gabro is retreating. Let's see. <laughs> They're dancing back and forth. <laughs> you attack. No, you attack. No, you attack. Well, it looks pretty cool, actually. <laughs> they, they just won't commit to a fight. 
Well, I think um, Trafalgar would have lost that because his soldiers were wounded from creeping, so. Trafalgar taking out the creep, getting Pippin. Andrew Gabros going for the troll layer down at the southwest. Oh, was that a drinker, bro? I thought that was the one I was just talking about. I thought that was. You really? See, the confusion begins already. All right, <clears throat> Trafalgar is white. That's the color I normally play as, so I gotta look for myself on the map. <laughs> <coughs> That's how I shall know that who I'm co who I'm viewing. <coughs> well, Trafalgar has got a Gondor soldier battalion behind Adrigabra's lines. He might be able to take out this farm. Yeah, he's just stomping around looking for harassment. Uh, I don't think he knows where any of the farms are, though, because he's just standing in between both of them. <laughs> It seems like Trafalgar uh, is sort of stretched a little bit. He, his attention is um, is str he's struggling to manage all the units at once across the map because he does have units in like four different places now. Oh, and we have a battle in the north. Trafalgar severely outnumbered, retreating. Going to keep my uh, well, that, that's two to one. That's not severely outnumbered. <laughs> that's severely outnumbered, man. Would you want to have to fight two guys instead of one guy? Well, that's outnumbered, but I wouldn't say severely. All right, fair enough. We'll, we'll say four to one is severely outnumbered. Right. We shall agree on that. We gotta stop bickering, well, like man. The Trafalgar has more map control at the moment, or he has more units on the map. Oh, and he is taking out Adrigabro's settlements, his farms, right at his yeah. base. I don't know though. I think Adrigabro has consolidated his armies better. And he, Adrigabro just harassed two farms from, uh, from Trafalgar as well. A lot of uh, Gondor soldiers and farm killing going on right now, folks. We have a. This is a Gondor mirror match early game. They're this doing exactly like. the same thing. They both have Gondor soldiers, they both got a stable. A Drigger Bro is getting knights. Trafford is probably going to get knights soon. <laughs> it's like, this is the definition of a mirror match. <laughs> well, it is expected. They are both Gondor. Yeah. I'm surprised that they're going for knights. I mean, all the other player has to do is upgrade his barracks and get tower guards, and knights are rendered useless. So I think that's a mistake. A Drigger Bro really getting a knight out quickly here. That will definitely help him deal with the Gondor soldier spam coming from Trafalgar. Adder Gabro's uh, creeping Trafalgar's goblin layer. Yeah, I just saw that stealing his money. Yes. Oh, and we have the first knight co charge coming out in the east there. Uh, except that they oh, didn't, didn't charge. charge. They stopped right in front of them. Are those pikes? I don't think those are pikes. Those are just swordsmen. So why did he stop? Rather strange. Maybe he thought they were pikes. Oh no, they're they're his units. Okay, that's why he didn't trample them. This is really confusing. Yes, it is. In all the right ways. And stealing, uh, Edward Bro stealing Travolta's warg as well. Oh, they should have creeped a bit better early game. Adriga Bro uh, playing really aggro right now. He's he's all up in Defolder's business. Defolder with a knight as well. Well, I think this is the first French play in the tournament, so yep. French taste must be very aggressive. <laughs> I'm not sure whether that's a good or bad statement, but I'd like to note that that was Chiska's statement, not mine. <laughs> in the Dane, that is considered a compliment. All right, well, we've just got harassment going on all over the place. It's very hard to keep up with it all. We have Baragond out, I think. Is Baragond out? Who's yes, Baragond is out. Uh, for Trafalgar's or? Adriga Bro. All right, that's cool. Adriga Bro, I, really I think, see. is playing better right now. At the moment, yes. He's got more farms. Uh, he's got more troops. He's upgrading more consistently. He has a level 3 blacksmith already, so he can get upgrades if he'd wish. I'm really surprised. We've literally seen numerous Gondor matches, and we've yet to see a single one make any tower guards. <laughs> literally Gondor's best unit. 
and they're just skipping it entirely, going for cavalry. Well, I must say that if I had been playing in this, and people tried to Gondor soldier spam me, they'd uh, learn a very hard lesson about why Gondor soldier spam is inferior to tower guards. Well, we got a pretty big battle right in front of uh, Adriga's or Trafalgar's base, and he's run Adriga running away because there are towers there now. He's got a few leveled up Gondor soldiers and one pikeman. My God. Look at that, a Driga bro taking all the creeps. Baragon now level two. This can be considered a troll. <laughs> well, I, I wouldn't call it trolling to steal your enemy's creeps. That's a good strategy. Defolder, yes, but it's still trolling. Defolder not doing so good with the knights. He could be charging better. Oh, those are Adriga's knights. Okay, so Adriga not doing so good with the knights. He could be charging better. For the love of God, one of you, please, upgrade your barracks. Drigabro going for upgraded stables and heavy armor. Looks like there's going to be a little cavalry clash here. Oh, is there? I was looking I'm really not it. sure who's winning at the moment. It, it, everything looks the same. You can't tell the difference. <laughs> oh. Now uh, we have an upgrade uh, outpost. Forward outpost for Adriga Bro. Already? Yep. Oh, arrow volley coming out. Who's was that? Oh, That's nice dope. split. Nice split. That was very well done. I'm beginning to respect Adriga Bro here. He's, he's playing really well. The arrow volley was for folders, right? But Adriga Bro made a nice yep, dodge he, of it. And I'm not sure what button it is, but there's a button you can press that causes your units to just run in opposite directions and split, and they can be used to avoid area of attack abilities. Really? <laughs> we have Pippin throwing rocks at a farm in the north. I, w I would like to point that out. <laughs> I don't think if uh, uh, Trafalda <laughs> is probably just trying to make us laugh. Well done, Trafalda. <laughs> I hope that's what he's trying to do. Uh, okay. Well, no one in their right mind <laughs> would attack a farm. With a level one Pippin on rock throw mode. Yeah, I think what he's probably he's probably just forgotten about him. Because <sighs> there's tends a lot to going happen. on. Yeah, Adriga playing very aggressively. I I think he's very easily got the advantage right now. Uh, we've got two Baragons fighting each other. We've <laughs> 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 this is ridiculous. Uh. Oh my the God! Winning. I, I want to strangle Trafalda right now. Just upgrade your barracks and get tower guards. That entire army will be rendered useless. Just get tower guards. Do it. Well, he's got a little bit of an economy issue right now. He has absolutely... Wait, he has one external settlement that is about to go down. Yeah. Dude, let's say two. Well, all the more reason to upgrade. He's he's spending 200 on all these each of these Gondor soldiers. Like, uh. I don't know. Ooh. I really don't understand why people think that uh, blacksmiths are superior to townhouses. If you get four townhouses and a blacksmith in your base and spam out tower guards, you can get tower guards in like two minutes for a decent price. Cryptic, we're supposed to commentate, not to I'm give sorry. advice. <laughs> hey, no, hey I'm, I'm doing. I'm doing both. <laughs> that will make future matches more exciting. That's exactly what you're supposed to do while commentating. Give advice. <laughs> Well, it's for all the viewers at home. I'd just uh, like to point out that Adrigabro's got forged blades on his knights. Yeah, he also has forged blades on some Gondor soldiers to the west. Those knights will tear yes. through buildings in seconds. Now Trafalda is left with absolutely no more external settlements. This is looking very bad for Trafalda. He could probably finish Trafalda off right now if he wanted to. And it looks like he's going to try. See, that tower might pose a minor problem, but if he can get all his forged blades units to attack it, it might go down without too many casualties. I have no idea who's winning that fight. All I see is Gondor. Better to say that right now Gondor is winning, but it is also losing. <laughs> Gondor is simultaneously winning and losing. He made a tower on the front line in the middle of the enemy units, which was immediately destroyed. Should be making him in the back. Somebody's Baragon just died. A bad start. <laughs> uh, 
Alright, well the tower is down. Um, he could make some towers in the back. How much money does he got? He might upgrade got, his barracks and go for tower guards, but that's not going to happen. He has, like, a lot of resources, and he's just spending them all on units which are dying immediately. Alright, well, I believe this match is over. We have an army full of forge blades sitting in the base, slowly whittling down everything. If he, if he makes those towers in the back, he can kill it off, I guess. Well, uh, if I can excite you, Adrigabra has decided to finally go for the tower guards. Oh, really? Yes. Yes! Yes! Adriga bro! Finally! That's okay, GG. Th this is so important. I've got to watch this tower guard come out. This is the first tower guard in the tournament. Oh, uh, no! Come on! Come on! Walk out the yes, yes! Do it, do it, do it! They're on the field! They did it! They made it to the battlefield! Alright. One second. Well oh. late from both players. Uh, all is right with the world. Volder had a bit of a bad start with his creeping. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did not get enough creeps, and um, I think that he was harassing quite well, but he needed to f consolidate and kill the threat, which was the big army sitting near his base. <clears throat> Alright, well that will do it for match one. So for all the folks just watching on the YouTube channel, thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Let's grow the Adane mod bigger than it's ever been. And as always, until next time, stay awesome.